And we're back. Thanks for joining us yet again here for another cruising video. I am Paul with SO Cruising, and with me, as always, is Chris from GoLuxuryCruiser.com. Chris, what are we talking about today? Ama Waterways. Ama Very near waterways. and dear to my heart. Well, I know that you're a big fan of them because, uh, for many reasons, one of them, of course, is Christmas markets, which, don't worry, folks, the Christmas markets video will be up soon, and it's probably going to be about three hours long. Uh, <laughs> Ama Waterways offers cruises in Europe, South, uh, Southern Africa, Southeast Asia, and Egypt. They have 23 mm -hmm. ships. They usually have between 140 and 170 passengers. So this is a real tight-knit group that you're going to be out there with. Uh, they're primarily on the rivers in, uh, in Europe, including the Danube, the Rhine, the Seine. And one of the great things about it, Chris, that I found out is that to attract uh, families with younger children, they have actually partnered with Disney to create uh, Disney-themed cruises that um, he head out to the, uh, the, the Christmas markets as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, Ama Waterways, this is a river cruiser, right? Yeah, uh, they do. Um, yeah, mostly they actually came from uh, a gentleman that worked for Viking Cruises, which I'm sure people have heard of. He actually was the one that designed most of their ships and then one day decided, you know, I have a vision for what I think a river cruise company should be and sketched out a ship on a napkin. Wow. And I've seen the napkin. And, uh, and it became on the waterways, which has consistently been voted the number one river cruise line in the world by Asta, Condonist, all of them. Yeah, so really amazing product. So Ama Waterways, it's, it's, they're in Europe, right? In Europe, Southeast Asia, a little bit of Africa as well. Um, I, I was actually looking at the, the Egyptian uh, river cruise. It looked amazing. Uh, which, uh, have you been on any of their, uh, their ships? I have been on 10 Ama Waterways cruises. I've done Christmas markets. I've, done, I've been on the river. I was invited to go to the Africa sailing, which I'm going to tell you was life-changing. Um, anyone who can go on this cruise should go. Um, it, I, it's amazing. And uh, I do have pictures of that, which I'm sure Polly will share on this. But I mean, I've never they've seen actually been on the like screen that. the whole time you've been talking about it. Wow. Thanks. That's like magic. I feel it like really I'm rubbing the magical. genie lamp here. Um, so the other thing um, you were talking about the Egypt cruise, um, that ship is brand new and that itinerary is amazing i already have two groups booked um they're selling out close to a year and a half two years in advance and the ship isn't even out yet it starts in september of 2021 one of the highlights on the egyptian cruise is that you're going to be able to go and see the entire king tut collection all right privately. Then. Now, and wait, that's you, the kind they're they're booking two years out like i have yeah. i have a hard time knowing what i'm doing on saturday if you don't book two years out on these Africa and exotics with AMA, you're not going. That's, that, is, that is pretty amazing. So if, if you're on a river cruise, for those, I mean, for, for those people who haven't been on a river cruise before, mm -hmm. um, obviously this isn't 4,000 people jammed into the cattle car, right? This mm -hmm. is a, a small, tight-knit group, and mm -hmm. we're out on the ship, and it's 7 o'clock at night. We just finished dinner. What are we mm -hmm. doing tonight? Usually what will happen is that after dinner, um, people adj adjourn to the lounge. There's sort of one big main lounge on the, on the river boat. And the cruise manager will come and, and discuss what's going to happen the next day. Okay, uh, talk about the touring that you're going to do. On river cruising, all of the touring is included. All of the activities are included. There's some things that you pay for if you want a specific type of experience. But for the most part, in my experience, everything is so great. Um, but anyway, he tells you what's going to happen the next day. And then there's usually some sort of local entertainment on board. So it's, they're bringing on board. I th the funniest one, and I'll give you that video, Paulie, uh, of the Hungarian, uh, I forget what they, they swing around and they, it's this crazy dance they do. And you sit there and watch it and you're like, I can't believe I'm watching this, but it's, they, they, they bring people up to dance with them. And it, it's just, it's very, um, the thing about river cruising is, is what Alma says is uh, cruises take you two countries, oceans take you two countries, rivers take you through them. And you're really going to see what the people are. Okay. So, um, you know, 
and that's the thing. And people say, well, what do I do at night? I go, at night, you're parked in Budapest. Walk off the ship and go enjoy the town, you know? That's a big difference from all the, re- from most of the cruises. Because if I'm on, if I'm in the Caribbean, if I'm in the Mediterranean, and I'm on one of, one of the big well-knowns, mm-hmm. right, we're going to go, we're going to get there. When I wake up, we're there. They're going to let me off the ship at, at, at 8.30. I'm going to walk down. I'm going to do my excursion. I got to be back on the ship at five because we're leaving at six and then we're on to the next one. Now I had a yeah. great time there and I always do cause I, I, I spend my, that's all my vacations, but you're saying, so you're, you're parked there for the night. So it's not go back to your room and uh, watch Muffalo Buffalo on right. uh, local TV. Instead, you're going to go out and walk the city. Right. Well, there's that, but I, I'm going to tell you from my experience, you have been touring all day and a lot of times people are just going to enjoy the ship and the entertainment. And by 10 o'clock, you're like, it's lights out. I've been touring <laughs> since eight o'clock in the morning. I've walked, you know, the, the fisherman's, uh, the fisherman's Bastille and, and Budapest and I've been here and I've done all the Christmas markets and I've drank all the blue vine or I've done, you know, and it's just go, 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 go all day. As a, a little truth be told, when I first went on a river cruise, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be on here with 90-year-old people and I'm going to be bored out of my mind. Yeah. Let me tell you, you are never sitting still. You enjoy sitting and listening to the cruise manager talk because that's the first time you've stopped moving all day. <laughs> you know, And uh, so it's amazing. I mean... Um, and it's great because it's not like going on a bus tour. It's not like going, there's a lot of tours that take you through Europe and kind of do the same thing, but you're on sure. a bus and you're in a hotel, then you're packing and, and this is you unpack once. Um, and there's really nothing to buy on board. I mean, there's a gift shop and stuff, but everything is included. It's a very, very, you pick what tours you want. You also pick the level of tour you want to do. So if you say, you know what, I just want to stroll around. I don't want to do a hardcore thing. And then there, but, up to there's bike rides where you you actually get on the bike and pace the ship while it goes to the next port and you ride there and then everything that's cool that is yeah. that that's definitely cool i will literally never do that but yeah. it certainly no. it certainly uh, does sound cool and and people of course can can email you at chris at go luxury um to to find out more about that and we'll talk more about that uh in just yeah. a couple of minutes uh, about the booking and the why, and I, uh, you have such intricate knowledge about this ship that you probably have some really cool tips and tricks on on how and why to book them when people call you, right? Absolutely, um, right, awesome. I, and we'll, we'll we'll go over all that in just a couple of minutes. Okay. Um, so so Budapest is, is one of the places that I can go. Uh, Egypt for King Tut stuff is one is another place. Like you've been on ten different ones. Yep. Tell me something that that stands out, not including Budapest or King Tut, uh, that gotcha. stands out when you think, man, you know what? I would actually go do that one again. Oh, uh, Africa, 1,000%. Um, when I was, you go out, uh, there's four days of the trip where you spend on the Chobe River on the Zambezi Queen, which is an awesome ship. Only 14 cabins on board. So only, oh, sorry, 16 cabins on board. Wow, 32 that's people. really small. You're sitting uh, on the uh, you're sitting on the deck, having a glass of wine or whatever, and there's elephants and hippos just all over the place as you're sailing around. Like that uh, sounds just like so amazing. It, it almost like gives you a little bit of chills when you think about it's it because amazing because as as your typical uh, human that doesn't live in Africa, the idea yeah. of of a, an elephant just kind of strolling on by, just kind of hanging out. Hey, I'm an elephant. I'm just going to stand here in my on my shore. Is is just it, it doesn't happen. It doesn't make sense. We have zoos and we have animal kingdom, and that's what we get. And we have the we have television. So you're telling me that you're hanging out, just lounging out on the ship, uh, the on on the riverboat, and you go through, and these guys are just on the shore. Hippos. Yeah. I mean, I have, I have a lot of videos, which I will of course share. And, uh, but I'll tell you one specific thing that uh, I remember is every day you go out on water safaris. So you're on these little boats and we get within, I mean, we went up to a elephants drinking water and I was probably, there's a picture I took of, and we're probably five feet away from the elephants and they're just like, Hey, what's up? But the funniest story to give you a real idea so you can really 
experience life in Africa, what they deal with, is we were having our picnic lunch. They, they set up this whole nice, beautiful lunch for you in the middle of the Chobe Reserve when you're doing a day of safari. And they're like, make sure you cover your plates or take your plates with you because the monkeys will get them. Oh, my word. Case in point, they were opening up the stuff for us to come by and take them. And out of the tree, like some sort of special forces guy, this monkey dropped out of the tree, grabbed a chocolate-covered croissant, and was up in the tree two seconds later. That's spectacular. And, and you just like, uh, us never experiencing anything like that, we were just like, that just happened. Like well, a monkey you know, that, jumped that out of the tree and took like our something- lunch. Yeah, that, that sounds like something you would actually want to happen. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm not sure that I'm going to donate my chocolate covered croissant, but uh, <laughs> someone else at the table could, you know, intentionally leave, leave theirs. It out. was crazy. And one other thing is uh, we were in Victoria Falls, which is actually larger than Niagara Falls. Amazing, amazing thing. But you stay in the Victoria Falls Hotel, which is this gorgeous uh, uh, hotel that's been there for uh, over 100 years. And it and they tell you, do not leave your windows open. Because if you do, the baboons will go into your room and trash it. Oh, my word. Can you imagine going, and, and we actually saw it happen. It was, there was a window was open, the, the curtain was fluttering, and stuff was just flying out of the window. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, but this is like, they tell you. They're like, well, we told you, don't leave your door open. The what happened open. to your room? The baboons. It was the yeah. baboons. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, I'm going to use that as an excuse around here sometimes when I leave. Uh, uh, if, if I make a huge mess, I'll just leave the door cracked open and I'm going to get yelled at for making a mess. Dude, I'm blaming the baboons. Like, yeah. That, I mean, they, they would like Florida, I think. Uh, that's, that's how it will, will certainly go. Uh, so when, when people are, are booking these, uh, obviously they're going to email you, they're going to call you mm-hmm. and um, get in touch with you. Let's, uh, let, let's, let's take a quick break here. And okay. we'll come back and we'll go over like really intricate ideas on, on how to book and why to book uh, through, um, through a travel advisor and give some real good tips and tricks on how to get the best deal and the most out of your bucks. So let's take a I'm quick good. break and we'll be back in just a second. Hang on, folks. Go Luxury Cruiser is an all-inclusive travel agency waiting to help you book your next adventure or relaxing getaway. If you want a balcony room on Royal Caribbean, a suite on a river cruise to the Christmas markets, or a volcano view in Hawaii, Chris DeBonis at GoLuxuryCruiser.com is the expert you need. Call 888-404-5531 or send an email to Chris at GoLuxuryCruiser.com today. GoLuxuryCruiser.com. Explore. Discover. Go. All right, everybody, we're back. As you can tell, Chris and I both spilled things on us during the uh, commercial break there. So we both put on new clothes, but we're back to talk about um, cruising and why you should call uh, Chris DeBonis at Go Luxury Cruiser. Uh, email him, Chris at GoLuxuryCruiser.com. The email address, as I've said a hundred times already, um, and the website, of course, is GoLuxuryCruiser.com. Easy enough. Now, Chris, you and I have spoken so many times about why people should use travel advisors. And one of the things that always sticks out to me is the fact that people now can do it themselves. And it's very simple to do. You go to the website, you type in the information, you can go to royalcaribbean.com if you want, not to pump them, but you can, you can go to orbits. They have it. You can go to uh, any one of the things and I can do it myself, but you always tell me that you can do something differently. And I know that now so let's talk about why um, the people who are now watching the video should be calling you instead of booking it themselves. Let's just start with just booking a simple cruise, uh, a simple balcony room or suite on a royal ship. Why should someone call you instead of um, booking it themselves? Well, I mean, the first thing is you get me. I mean, I come from 10 years at sea. I have worked on almost every single class of Royal Caribbean ship there is. And I've probably uh, been to every port of call in the world, minus maybe a dozen. Um, And what I can do for you is I can not only add my knowledge to your cruise, but I can also add value. We can always add perks, um, shipboard credit. I mean, it really varies from case to case to case, but I can always add something. 
And, uh, and that's really what it is. And look, yes, you can absolutely go to Google, type in Caribbean cruises, and you're going to get a million things. You can go to Costco now and order uh, a, a cruise. But do you really want to uh, order your cruise where you get your barbecue sauce from? I mean, I, you know, I've never really understood that. Do well, you want to certainly go, go with an expert. You want to go with yes. someone who knows exactly what's going on at all points in times. And you might try just getting get a little bit closer to your mic because you're a little bit quiet right now. Or maybe Emma, okay. move it uh, a little bit closer. That way we, uh, everyone can hear what, everything we're talking about. Now, okay. certainly if, if I book it through Costco and something goes wrong, what am I going to do? Call uh, 1-800-COSTCO and be like, hi, um, so I'm kind of a little bit stranded here. Or, um, hey, listen, my room is not what I wanted it to be. And um, I need some help here and they're not helping me. I don't think that the cashier at Costco is going to be stepping up to the plate, but they could call you and you might be able to help them out. Is that correct? Well, yeah. I mean, I probably would have already said, hey, you know, just FYI, this room is, um, you know, below the pool deck. So you might be hearing noises of them dragging the chairs at 7 a.m. every single morning. And if you're a late sleeper, you won't be on that cruise. That's just no, a little Chris, example. There's so many things about that that you know that others don't. And I've been on more cruises than I can ever count. And every time we talk about this, you tell me something else that I never thought about when I'm booking a cruise. You know, you, you, you talk about being under the pool deck. You, when, when we talk about um, Norwegian ships, I'm sorry, celebrity ships, you don't want to be uh, with, with the magic carpet outside of you. You don't want to be under the wind jammer. You don't want to be on the, in the interior on the Allure because it's just a little bit warmer than being on the exterior. Like every time we talk, you have something else. And with all these ships out there, how am I supposed to remember it? Oh, that's right. I don't have to because I can call you instead. Now, at goluxurycruiser.com, um, people need to know that the experience that they wish that they had, you have already done it all. So you can actually just give them the knowledge. Um, you were on ships for 10 years prior to being a travel advisor for the past 10 years. So yeah. there's very little that you're not going to be able to, to know or help them with. So um, let's say somebody is uh, booking a cruise in Alaska and uh, they call you uh, and they say, Hey, listen, Chris, I got, I want to go in a balcony room in Alaska. Can you give me an idea of, of what I might consider doing? Like what, what, what sort of tips and tricks would you give someone who's going to Alaska? I always recommend with Alaska, absolutely 100% a balcony cabin. Alaska is a very visual sailing and there's actually whole days where you spend just kind of cruising around a, a glacier. And if you're, I always recommend an, an aft facing, so a rear facing balcony, because what happens is, is when you're sitting there, you can see on both sides of the ship. So if very the ship's cool. on this side, you can see the, the, and then if the ship's on the other side, so you're not, if, because if you're on one side of the ship, if the ship turns around away from the, the glacier, you're not seeing anything. You but got a heck of a look at the there. ocean, just like every other time you've been on a cruise ship <laughs> right. looking at the exactly. ocean, except it's just you really get great cool sunsets. That. Yeah. Great sunsets, beautiful views. Um, and what's nice too is on the aft facing balconies, you're sailing away from a port and you're just watching it disappear. And uh, it's fantastic. Now, and, and again, it's, it's stuff like that that just that, that stands out. This is why people need to call you instead of, and I, I, book, I, I, I book a lot of a lot of cruises. And when I used to do it myself, I'd be like, oh, yeah, like that one looks good. I'll take that. And then you're walking down the hallway the first time you go into your room and you're like, geez, I didn't think about this. Oh, look at this. I, I can't believe why am I here? Can I move in? It just becomes such a hassle and such a difficult thing because listen, you, you don't go on seven cruises a year. So when you get a bad room, you're in a bad room, that's your vacation. And the whole time, all you should be thinking about is why did I think I should do this myself? There are experts out there that want to help me. And oftentimes the assistance comes not only with booking, but you can also through goluxurycruiser.com help them out with maybe uh, getting a, a slightly lower rate on the cabin or uh, an onboard credit, right? Like, well, I remember one time I was out there and you're like, right before I left, you're like, oh, and by the way, check your uh, onboard credit. I got you a night in chops. And I was yeah. like, man, that's, that, that's cool. Like, I'm happy that 
Chris booked this for me instead of me booking it myself again and missing out on such a thing. And these are things that you can do for people, right? Right. And here's the other thing too, is the cruise line isn't going to say, oh, you're booking directly through us. We're going to charge you less because we don't have to pay the travel agent's commission. They're not going to do any of that. They're just going to take that money and not give you whatever we would give you and not give you any of the benefits you have from our associations. Right. And, and, um, and I can tell you that, you know, from experience, I know what these guys are talking about. I've had, I can't tell you how many times I've had blatantly, let's just say, not the best information given to me talking to people that work for the cruise line. And of course. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, and that's the thing is when you're dealing with a travel agent, you got to make sure that they're, they, that they know what they're talking about too. It's just like anywhere else. But um, what I would say is when it comes to booking travel, always, always try to use an agent, find an agent you trust. Um, you know, you can always call me and talk to me, but I mean, I'll, we, to speak to what you're saying is there's balcony cabins that are very inexpensive on cruise lines there. They'll be, they could be as much as a thousand dollars less per person. And what they don't tell you is that's where the anchor chain is. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And, and actually as an aside, I know when, when you try to book on Royal, like there are two choices. There's like, we'll choose your, we'll choose your balcony for you or for an extra hundred bucks, you can pick your own. I'm thinking to myself, yeah, right. Like, I'm going to let you put me in the worst cabin possible. The reason it's available is because everyone who has a brain didn't take that one. Everyone who knows what they're talking about was like, no, I'm not, I'm not taking that one. That one's right next to the boiler room under the wind jammer with the pool in the backyard. Like, no, thank you. I will tell you, speaking to that, there is some times where you can look at that as glass half full. If you take what's called a guarantee and they sell out of that category, they have to upgrade you. So there are people that like to roll the dice on that. No. And uh, I always say, okay, you know, I mean, you could end up in the best cabin. You could, I've had clients get, get sent up to nicer levels and I've had them go, yep, they put me next to the anchor chain. <laughs> you know, yeah, so. that just sounds like an absolute awful, awful thing to do. And, you know, that's, it's just, it's another reason to go with, um, someone like, you know, for those of you who are watching and listening, Chris DeBonis at GoLuxuryCruiser.com um, is when you're, when you're talking with Chris, I can tell you that the customer service starts the day that you introduce yourself and it ends not at the end of your first cruise or not when you haven't booked one for a year. You don't get purged from the system. I know that, and Chris and I have spoken about this extensively, if someone can call Chris up and say, hey, listen, five years ago, you booked me on this one. And can you help me with this one? And within a couple of minutes and a quick search of a database, Chris is going to have the person's information, double check it, know what they want, know what they're looking for, because he keeps extensive notes on the people and everything that he needs to do to, to make your cruise the best thing uh, that you've had for years is this one option. Just call your favorite travel agent, which, you know, of course, is Chris DeBonis at GoLuxuryCruiser.com. If you're, if, if you want to do it right, because folks, I can tell you, and you know, I'm, I'm not, Chris isn't paying me anything to say this, by the way. Um, no, as a matter of fact, I had to bring him kicking and screaming over to using a travel agent because it's actually he knew everything. I, 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 I still know everything, <laughs> but, but the new knowledge is what's important. Um, <laughs> If you are, if you're looking to book travel, you can find someone who is a travel agent who read a couple of travel books and got hired by a travel company and they've been doing this for six months and boy, they've booked 10 or 12 cruises already and they know what they're talking about. Or you can have someone who's been doing it for two years on and off on weekends and they book their friends and family and they work from home and their experience is a little more than a common traveler. Or you can go with someone who actually lived on cruise ships for 10 years, who has traveled so much around the world that this travel advisor can tell you where to go and when to go and, and what to do when you get there in almost every port on the planet. And then for the last 10 years has been doing that. Uh, both of those uh, options are going to cost you the same, which is usually nothing, but one of them is going to give you what you're looking for. And the other one is going to, yeah, we were talking about rolling the dice. Well, yeah. there's your roll right there. 
So if you're dealing with Chris at GoLuxuryCruiser.com, it certainly is going to make a big difference for your vacation. Um, the easiest way to get in touch, of course, is to, you can just simply go to the website. The phone number is on the website, right, Chris? Yeah. Everything's on the website. Yep. Um, now you can book the Caribbean mm-hmm. and is you can pretty much book anywhere, can't you? Yeah, no, I, I, I can book anything anywhere. And you know, it's funny. We, I know we talk about cruises a lot, but I mean, if you need something else, I can do that. If you want to stay somewhere pre or post on your cruise, I can do that. Everything from hotel rooms to villas in Monte Carlo. I can do it all. Oh yeah, absolutely. And we, we were talking about that, about, about the, um, taking trains, like after you get yeah. off the, the ship, if you, you know, listen, you got two weeks of vacation you, you, you take a cruise for a week and then you hop on a train for a week um, and you need hotels in the meantime, you need all the information. Like I always, I always talk about cruising because, well, this is a cruise uh, YouTube channel. So we sort yeah. of focus on that. But Chris isn't limited to just cruising because not only has he been to these places, but he's lived in a, in, in, in a lot of uh, pretty exotic places and has spent a ton of time in a lot of places like that. So um, outside of cruising, you can also do that. Um, We've got videos on uh, on a lot of the cruise ships. We've got videos on a lot of the ports, a lot of the cities to go to, a lot of events that happen around the world, uh, and anything that you need to do when it comes to booking travel. Uh, you can go to goluxurycruiser.com and book just about anything out there. Chris, can you book me to uh, Antarctica, by the way? No problem. When do you want to go? <laughs> when are we leaving? When are we do leaving? You wanna, do you want to go out on Zodiacs or you just want to look at it? Do you want to get um, right probably, out with yeah. the penguins or do you want to just look at them from the thing? I mean, we're, we're probably going to have to stand on the, on the continent, right? Like, no, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that, that, that's going to be, you, you, you can't tell people that you saw Antarctica. Like you're yeah. going to have to probably go in and, and walk around and feed a couple of penguins. You Try would be surprised. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm okay. Just, Oh, by the way, in Antarctica, ant meaning Antarctica, ant, it, there's no bears in Antarctica. You got to go up to Antarctica the arctic to see the polar bear yeah see see what i get folks you know it's <laughs> you, you you try to say something a little bit funny and it turns <laughs> out that you're just dealing with an expert who won't let there, things go there we go well there's no bears in antarctica <laughs> well you know what i'm gonna bring one just to uh just to change the whole narrative of this entire video and when people are watching this in three years they're gonna be like yeah they're up well bottom there <laughs> Paul, Paul brought that whole family down. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be awesome. But th- it really is that simple though, right? Like I just, I, I just came up with something crazy like, oh yeah, I want to go to Antarctica. And the answer is like, yeah, you can do that. Like I, I, for all the things I've ever asked, hey, can we do this? Hey, what about this? Like what's an excursion? If we're going here, what's a good excursion? Where's the thing to do here? And like, you just always know. And it's, it's another reason why people just absolutely have to call you, um, email you, and go to the website and find all the information at goluxurycruiser.com and get in touch with you before they book. And if it's a short trip, if it's a long trip, you know, if it's a balcony room, if it's a suite, if it's a junior suite, if they're looking to get into the Haven, if they're looking to get into the retreat or anything, any, any, anything that all like, you're the, you're the person to call. And, and that's kind of what we want people to do. Um, so we let's, can always um, add value. Let, we can always add value. We can always add our, our knowledge to the booking and, and make sure that, because look, especially in, in all these crazy times and everything, we want to make sure that the dollar you spend is maximized to where it can't be maximized anymore. So you know. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. And if you're booking a cruise and it's going to be $2,000, but you're getting $2,300, $2,400 worth of value. And then because you did it in a certain way, it actually ends up being uh, more value just based on your experiences than if you had just had there or just done it yourself. So yeah. bottom line, folks, you don't have to go it alone. You can, you can call your friendly neighborhood travel advisor. Go to goluxurycruiser.com, get in touch with Chris DeBonis or one of his partners there at the office, and they will uh, give you all the information that you're going to need in order to have the greatest vacation at the greatest value. And the more you book, the more they know about you, the better your experience will be every time. 
Uh, Chris, final words for, uh, for the good people who are looking to get in touch with Chris at GoLuxuryCruiser.com. Hey, thanks so much for having me, Paul. I always have a good time. All right, man. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Later.